Hello, hello, and this is day 34. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> and this is day, day 134 of learning cybersecurity. And today I just finished the um, ACLS model, which is access control list. And the exercise for that model is to pretty much to replicate an SPN attack. And to replicate that attack, we are going to be using Windows and then we are going to be checking on the Active Directory on the Vent Viewer to see what kind of logs are we able to get. Just to let you know, SPN is um, the meaning is for service principal name, which is the one that we want to modify. I already opened Windows now. We are going to be using CMD for this attack and then we have to run as administrators let's just check we are admin now we are going to be changing the account Annie the user Annie set SPN let's set SPN minus D then HTTP WF001 and this command deletes the existing service principal name from the user or computer account and, and pretty much we do this to if in any case that the SPN may be already in use and we want to make sure that there are no conflicts before assigning a new one and pretty much we are basically cleaning things up before setting up our target SPN let's just see if we are able to mm, set SPN ok let's see mm -hmm. Okay, it's loading, you know, it's working. Update, unregister, okay, update, object. Now we are going to add a new SPN using the UNS flag. Pretty much set SPN. Then U, then S. Wait, the U one is not the correct one. U, then S. L B A P W F zero zero one and the U and the set SPN this well the U just this part the U tells the SPN to treat this as a user or computer account which is what Annie is and we use the est to make sure that the SPN is unique in the domain if not it won't be added and the LDAP is the new SPN we are assigning and, and here Annie is the new account we are assigning to we have to just click enter and wait while everything is loading we are also using this on the other computer which is server 01 any is an account uh -huh, but we are going to be using on the server 01 loading we just have to wait now let's see wait I didn't click enter <laughs> yep all right updating 
No errors, that's okay, awesome. All right, now we're going to do the same for the computer server one. Window set SPN at LDAP, then server zero two to server one. Now this um, LDAP LDAP backslash server zero two. This one uh, we are adding. It represents the LDAP service, and on the machine called server zero two. And pretty much we are telling that the LDAP service on server 2 is now owned by server 1 mm -hmm. and we just click enter let's make sure that we click enter set SPN LDAP server 2 I think that is correct ok awesome now both of them are already changed now we can check on on the event viewer from the windows server to see what kind of logs are we getting let me copy the user and also the password for this windows server account this is always dc1 let's DC1 user and connect now the password okay we're connecting to the um, Windows Server w in Windows Server we just have to open the event viewer and we are going to be checking the logs for this um, we are going to be using the logs 4738 which if I'm not mistaken that one is for accounts that is used for accounts for changes that lock is always it's like that lock is always added when an account is changed and for the server we're going to be using 4742 that is when an, a computer is changed but I will show you just let me look for the link and I will show you where did I get that information from uh -huh. let's open up Firefox then let yep as you can see 4738 a user account was changed and the other one will be 4742 Four seven four two. A computer was changed. And just to let you know, a server one is a computer, and Annie is an account. That's why we are using two different ones. Mm -hmm. But I will show you. Here we're using Annie, which is the account, and here is server one, which is the computer. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Event Viewer then windows and then security let's expand this windows logs then security we're going to be using filter current log we're going to starting with 4738 which is for the account was changed and that way we can see the changes on the user and 4738 okay click on ok it's a little bit slow you know when it's not like my recording system is not the one that is slow it's just 
in this machine that is a little bit slow but nothing to worry about as you can see we only have one of a lock from today and which pretty much will show let's see let's expand this this will be for any just let's expand it over here should be enough as you can see we can see um, is coming from Bob which is the um, the account which is the one that requests for it the Annie Annie and then the target will be Annie as you can see when then we are not getting the changes attributes just that the user account manage but pretty much we're getting the information where it's coming from and the target which is any mm -hmm. and that pretty much will display the um, a user was changed <laughs> and for the other one which is the computer as you can see we don't have any other from today even though we also changed the server too we don't have that here as you can see um, no not server not server one do that any is an account and we are not able to check for the server one with this event id we have to use the other one which is four seven four two mm -hmm. four seven four two and we should be able to get only one log just like here but with the uh, server one two well we are getting three of them hmm let's check but yep as you can see they are coming from Bob and the target will be the server one a computer account was changed as you can see a computer was changed we have the password last set and what what else do we have no this one is no uh, no authentication we will be pretty much just the first one mm -hmm. and the service principal host register server as you can see now we have server 2 added to w westman i'm not sure the meaning of that one but we are going to look we need windows management provides an account web service for management web service for management yeah awesome web service for management yep but as you can see we can see the logs and the changes that we already made to the SPNL mm -hmm. and yeah pretty much that one mm, the attack for the SPNL attack that I had to replicate for this model of ACLS which is access control list and yeah for this one it, I just wanted to show you like the attack that I had to replicate do then they don't have any other practical exercise in this model and i just wanted to show you a little bit of practice not only tell you the concepts or yeah i wanted to i wanted to show you a little bit more not just tell you the concepts of this model i think it's a little bit more entertaining to see the spnm attack and how it changed the logs and what logs can you get from that one mm -hmm. and yes pretty much that will be all for now I will continue I think let me see if I have the information for the next model maybe I can show you the next model will be PK PKI Let's check for the mini. Web service management. 
Let's, I will show you public key infrastructure. Okay, that will be the next model, public key infrastructure. And for that model, I think for that one we have two exercises, but it's a little bit, uh, a little bit long to be honest. The model. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. All right. And that will be all for now. And take care. Bye.